Hello friends, let's begin with part program on CNC turning part 1. In this model, we are going to learn some of the examples of CNC turning. So let's begin. First, you understand the layout of CNC program. Within that, it starts with the first billet part. Billet, that means the raw material part. So it is having x 250 so x will be the dimension on about diameter and z will be the dimension around the length of a particular job then we move to the setting the cutting condition and reference point return that is g28 is used for reference point return it is a part program origin then n06 for tool, tool change or tool call that is 201 01. So 01 is for uh, tool number 1 and 01 is for output. And uh, G00 that is a rapid position. This part is comes under the header. The header part is always at the first or start of the program. That is same uh, part in every type of CNC programming because that part is a just initialization of the System or initialization of the machine, as like in a C programming or C plus plus, we are giving some of the header files, and those header files are always same to every program. There are small changes are there. So in CNC turning purpose, they are all same. For CNC milling purpose, they are different. For CNC drilling purpose, they are different. So all these layouts are different in header file when it is going to the Another operation like milling and turning. So, CNC turning program having start of the program or header file will be same. Then, next part will be body. Body means where we have to define the actual cutting operation in the path here, that is G01, G02, G03. So, these are the cutting operations G71, G22. These are the cutting operation as cycle utility. So, we have to use those cycle utility subroutine part programming in the body. Okay. That is comes under CNC programming part body or it is a main part program. Then lastly, there is a uh, return to reference point, end of the program, spindle or tool and top. These conditions are considered in the end of the program. End of the program means these are the end of the part of the programming. That part is also same for all the types of CNC program and same for milling also. So you understand there are three sections of a body or three sections of a part program. Within that, most of the cases, the examiner is focuses on the body. Okay, if you uh, have a mistake in a body, then you lose the mark. So body part or main part program is very essential purpose. If you uh, did a many type of mistake, then you cannot get a good mark in CNC program. That is depends on your understanding of the program. So let's start with the actual example. And this is an example which is basically designed in the first phase. It's only uh, follow the profile. Okay. So follow the profile path. That is the simple part program like this. If you follow only the profile path. That means uh, first I have select the billet which is given in the condition. So x is exactly that billet position is already we know that. Okay. Then M06 G00 G99. Sorry, G00 G99 G21 G14 single speed on M13. You can write this way also. Okay. And then M06 tool we have to select. And I'm just putting out the particular dimension here. So first I have to keep the origin here that is x0 y0. Okay, so remember that x0 y0 origin sorry x0 z0 origin will be available here. Okay. And from this location we have to consider the dimension. So here you observe that when we are going to move g01 38 z0 f 0.2 so that means x 38 it will go to x 38 position and then z x 38 
statement it's having expert weight okay so that part is actually clear and as it is a symmetric in nature we are focusing on only half part okay we are not focusing on the downward part remember it just dimensions we are carrying out okay so what will happen uh, at the first case c0 the 01 cx f.2 will come to this location okay it will will come to particular this location then x minus 1 0 f.2 so x will be minus 1 and 0 f.2 that means 0.1 that means it will do the sequentially tracing operation okay then after that what will do so x minus 1.0 that is for this then x 38 z2 so again it is going outside and x10 it is coming here this position and z will be minus 10 and f will be 0.1 so z will be minus 10 that means this is a minus 1 will going to the first part then it is a second part okay so if you understand that if you follow the profile we have to follow the equation like but that is a not a actual iso method or actual method just it is a basic example for understanding the particular problem it is not a iso method okay. so first it comes to two then g02 as it is going like this from two to three position okay so every time we have to make a table of uh, first that means coordinates and the points so you have to make a table of points first and then coordinates of x and z okay so if you create a particular table like this then you can easy to manage the uh, location of the points and you can easy to write the part of the program okay so third point so third point what is that it i mean uh, 18 Uh, x will be 18 and z will be minus 14. So 4 will be there, g 02 will be there, and radius is mentioned 4. Okay. Then g 01 again is going to the space part. Every time we are writing only a next point. Okay. So remember from 3 to 4 we are writing the fourth point, not the third point. That we already studied in a part of the program. Then again, it's a G zero three because it is an anti-clockwise direction. Here it is a clockwise direction. So at this location, we have to calculate that is fifth point. And after fifth point, it is again a straight line. So here it's again a straight line. So it is going to be a sixth point here. Okay. And after the sixth point, uh, we are going to the again this position. That is the seventh point. And we end of the program. That is G twenty eight G zero W zero. So this actually seven points working principle is based on a particular small part program. And when we are using not using time cycle, but most of the cases we have to use time cycle. And this is only a profile follow method. Okay. Here you just understand how actually the points are passing. But actual machining will not be done like. that we will study in the next exam the right sense part program to turn the maestril bar and use can cycle for rough turning and finishing and take a fade rate of 0.5 mm per revolution and spindle set 200 rpm while stop diameter is 80 uh, by 140 mm so here you observe that it having a dimension like this you have to choose the part That is x zero y zero is there, z zero is there, and the length, different length are available. And according to this length, we have to do the machining operation. So again, there is a we have to having a some part program like this. That is a stock material. This is stock material which we are going to remove. So this part actually we.
we are going to remove. Okay. How we are going to remove this part? That is a very important part. In the CNC terminal. So let's begin. How we are actually uh, doing the removing the part. So here, if you observe that the part program is basically divided in the table form. That is N G X Z I K F and S T. So N will be sequence number, G will be G codes, X will be the dimension about diameter, Z will be the dimension about length. I and K those are secondary dimensions for the uh, arc or for the G zero two or G zero three. Then F will be feed rate, M will be a machine code, then S will be our industrial and T will be fusion. So when uh, you can create the things like this, and every time you have to write the description here. Okay, the description part is very necessary. If you writing the description part, then it will be not confusing to anyone else who is uh, checking your uh, particular file or, or your writing of the particular example. So writing the description form is very necessary for doing this type of any type of program. Okay. And this happen if you are uh, not writing G X Z, then also it's okay. But sequence number you have to write down at the end. And uh, from G codes, you have to start, and you have to write down the description. So let's start. G90 is absolute. G71 is matrix mode. G92 M 53 S 200. That is the maximum spindle speed, lamp low gear select. Then G95 is speed rate in mm per revolution. G28 U0 W0 go to home position. M06 C01 01 that is full change. M03 S200 that is single on with single speed 1500 R. So, up to this part is considered as our header of a file. Okay, so N7 that is G00X ATZ1 M0S rapid positioning and coolant is on condition. And here they are used with G73 as the G71 they are used for matrix mode. And here, as per we gone through previous slides, we are using a G71. But here, they are using a G71 for matrix mode. I am using here G73 for shock removal cycle. Okay. So, shock removal cycle is nothing but that remove 0.5 mm depth for how much diameter from which end to which end. Okay. So, X76 and Z minus 135. And feed rate is 0.5. So, stock removal cycle having incremental depth only 0.5 and feed rate will be 0.5 mm per revolution. The material is move, removed from Z1 to Z minus 30 and diameter is reduced from 80 to 70. So, what is actually happening? Remember, in this model, if diameter is considered as 80, that is given in the figure. So, Diameter is 80, that means it's having the stock material from which side. So, the stock material is having. Okay. So, now this diameter will be coming to the 75, and total, if you measure the length, it will come under 135. So, uh, instead of 140, we are considered 135. So, 1 to 135, that is 75 plus 20 plus 40, that is 135. And uh, this file will be reduced in a sequence of operation. So 80 to 76, we cannot take a direct cut. Rough cut. We have to take some small, small cuts. Okay. So those consider in this example. Then G00 X77 Z1 that is rapid fuel positioning to 77 X73 X75 Z-135 F.5 F200 B.25. That is stock removal cycle with incremental depth of cut of 0.25 mm with speed rate of 0.5 mm per revolution and material removed from Z1 to Z minus 135 and diameter is reduced to 77 to 75. Here also there are small depth of cut there for finishing. Then again it is go to X76 Z1 rapid position. Then 
again stock removal cycle we are using with the incremental depth of cut of 0.5 mm if fed rate 0.5 mm per revolution here just what is changing the dimension is then changing that is x52 and z75 if you observe that x52 z75 that is it is coming to this way here up to this will come x z uh, will be minus 75 and it will be removed only up to this part so again it started removing the uh, transfer part like this okay then g00 x 53 Z1 that is again rapid position. Now it's taking a finish cut. So X G73 X50 Z75 F.5 S200 depth 0.25. Again depth of cut is 0.25. That is now again rapid position into 51. Rapid position into 50 minus 75 and G01 that is now what is uh, it's removing this part. In a particular angle that is taper angle is started okay so uh, g01 x75 g z uh, minus 90 so if you observe that z will be minus 90 position it will be then z will be 0.5 okay so how it's moving that is you understand then x76 z1 then rapid positioning of the tool and x0 by z0 that is again rapid positioning to 0, 0 and g03 now we are actually moving moving this particular curvature part okay so this curvature part now we are removing in this uh, model that is g03 as it is going counterclockwise direction so x25 z minus 25 i25 k minus I and K are the center of that particular arc. So center of arc is actually directly 25 minus 25. So I will be along the radius and K will be along the Z direction. Okay. Then feed rate is 0.5. Again, the end of the program is started. That is rapid position into uh, 261 and uh, rapid position into 0 and Q0 0, W0 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, the log, we learn log, we try and same time, tape and rewind, and 0, 5, and 0, 9, and 0, 2, and 0, m, 60. Those are considered as the end of the part. And here we have to stop it. Okay. So every time, as actually you are doing the machining on base machine on any other part, so that part is here we are actually used in a particular CNC part programming or iron registry part. Here also you can uh, create the point and x and y, x and z, sorry, not x and y, in z location. And then you can start the writing down the program. So that will be beneficial for you. And instead of writing whole complete part, you can just write stock removal cycle for uh, diameter this end to this end. Other things are already mentioned here. So remember which are the things are very important. Here those are Whenever we are actually cutting, that time feed rate, spindle speed, depth of cut are very essential. Okay, whenever then the not cutting action is there, that time we are not mentioning. Just tool a moment is there that rapid tool position. We are not mentioning feed rate and spindle. Only for cutting operation we have to mention feed rate and spindle. Speed. If uh, the cutting here G zero three, we can write spindle speed also no problem. Okay, just you have to mention that which operation actually you are to doing and where you are to change the tool. Thank you so much. Hope you understand.